Hello and welcome to Deliberately Creative. I'm Stephanie and I want to welcome you to the July ATC Club event card that I'm doing. I am going to do a dragon's eye. I've been playing with some ideas and truthfully looking at reptiles because that's what we have as reference for dragons. And it's amazing the detail around a reptile eye. A snake's eye, a lizard's eye, an alligator's eye, a chameleon's eye. Oh my gosh, those things are amazing how they like telescope and move and such. But that's not quite a dragon's eye. I sort of ended up with sketching out an idea for a dragon's eye that has kind of more of that stony, pebbly look or a dragon's eye that's more like this. I'm not quite sure yet, but they're still based on reptiles. So go out, search for some pictures of reptiles. If you do a search for reptile eyes, it's amazing how many pictures are going to come up. I am doing this as part of the Art Sherpa ATC Club for July and the theme is medieval and dragons are pretty medieval as far as I'm concerned. I love dragons. So that's what I'm going to do. I've got a piece of chipboard here and I will be using these beautiful Holbein acrylic gouache. These are really cool because you can use them like a watercolor, you can use them like an acrylic paint, you can get really great color mixes. And I have a complete color mixing set of black, white, primary yellow, primary cyan, and primary magenta. I can get pretty much any color from that. And if I need help, I have a handy pocket color wheel. I'll tell you how I'm mixing the colors, but this isn't a color mixing lesson. This is watch me paint a dragon's eye on an ATC card. And an ATC card is just two and a half by three and a half. Any type of a surface that can fit into one of those plastic sports card trading card sleeves. So after it's dry, this can just slip right in. Acrylic wash doesn't reactivate. So there we go. I have a bunch of the Art Sherpa brushes. I have the detail set with, I've got a zero bright, a two over zero script liner, a two bright, a zero bright, and a one round. And then I have the 10 over zero ultra mini. So, and that's a shader. So it's not exactly a liner brush, but it's such a small little tip. I think it's going to come in really handy for this painting. I also have a little bit of this iridescent gold deep fine by Golden, um, just because I didn't have any metallic gold in my gouache. And I was thinking that might be kind of fun to put a little metallic gold in here. All right, I'm going to draw right on this card with the chalk pencil. I'm going to draw this in, basically putting his whole iris right here. And that's the pupil right there. The, the full eye on any creature is actually a sphere. It's a ball. But then your, the rest of your eye coming on gives you the shape. So this is the inner, inner line of this. And I'm just going to rough in my shapes here. He's going to have plates going around his eye, um, kind of like scales. I want that side to be deeper, I think. And this is just a General's charcoal pencil that I'm using because it's easy for you to see on this. There we go. And now he's going to have a bit of a wrinkle right here. 
and he's got a wrinkle that sort of goes right over this part of his eye and comes down around. And like I said, I am looking at a reptile's eye. I do not know exactly what reptile this is because it was just a close-up of the eye and it just said reptile eye. <laughs> so, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll go with that. We'll go with that. So, let's see. I want to make that lid bit there a little bit bigger. Nice thing about chalk is that you can use an eraser to rub it out if you don't like how something is going in. And I just realized that I did not coat this with gesso, but that's okay because by not coating it with gesso, you can see the pencil. And gouache is opaque. It is not transparent, so that's nice. And the scales are kind of shiny. So what I'm going to do here now, I think it's actually going to get pretty quickly roughed in, and then we can start doing details. So I am going to go ahead and put out some of the white. the black. You don't want to put out too much gouache at a time because if you do, you will end up with it drying just like acrylic paint. Let's see, I need to get this shifted so you'll be able to see the colors better. At least to start off with, you're going to see the colors. I do have a cup of water and I'm thinking to put the actual circle in for the eye itself, I'm just going to take some white because I want to make sure that it is, and maybe I'll even put a little bit of yellow. No. Yes, a tiny touch of yellow even. See, I'm working this out as I go along. I want it to be mostly white though. Wow. I'm going to just drop this on, push and turn. Oh yeah because look at that. Now I've got a really good eyeball. I need to make sure that I get my sponge washed out really quick. And I'm just dipping it into some water and I'm going to get it rinsed out really quick because I don't want to leave any paint sitting in this. And then I'm going to dry it off. They do stain but you know what, as long as there's no paint left and it's just a little bit of pigment staining, I don't worry about it because my art pieces always, or my, my tools always end up looking really loved by the time I'm done. But there, and that is just about dry already. Just about. Now we're going to go ahead and rough in. I'm going to put out some more white. And I'm going to go ahead and get some magenta and blue out also. Because I'm going to mix up my colors. I'm going to make fun color mixes. Let's see. So let's go with a bit of white, with a little bit of magenta, and some yellow. Oh, that's looking good. 
Of course, I probably could have just used a palette knife to mix that up, but I don't know how much I'm going to need. So I'll just be kind of careful. And then, uh, wipe that white off. A little bit of blue. Let's see. It's getting kind of greeny. A little bit more of the magenta. I'm not really going for a gray. But that may be what I'm getting. Okay, I'm going for a gray-ish type of color to give me the undertone. Oh yeah, that's, that's a good color actually. Trying to go for an undertone and I'm going to go right across the eyeball. And right up here. Now this is probably going to be mostly a speed video. So some of this stuff is going to end up being really repetitive. And when it's really repetitive, I am going to speed it. <laughs> I will speed because I want you to enjoy this little process. See that ended up being a lot more magenta this time. And then I'm going to come right across the eyeball. But this way I knew where the eyeball was. So I'll be able to make my wrinkles and shapes fit. And that's fun. You know, it's fun to make this work out. And I'm just going to be going back and forth. I'm not, I'm not paying really close attention to what the color mixes are. I, I just want to get some colors on here so I have something to work with. As I put my hand in the black. Yep, that happens. That happens. And actually, I think I might even put a little bit of black into that. Maybe that's what was going on. It was telling me, oh, you need some darker, dark, dark right here in the corner. Like that. And darker, dark, dark right here underneath of that bit of that lid. And up here in the crease. And under that roll. under that crease. Okay, that's good. That's good. We're getting some... I'm working this out, you know? It's kind of fun to work things out. Let's see. I think we're going to start throwing some almost scales on here now. Look at that. And that's just using the the brush to give me those shapes. I'm not, you know, this is not anatomical. But by having those colors underneath, we can start popping colors on top of that, almost like laying bricks. 
whoops, too much white. I like being able to use the gouache. Holbein's gouache is so nice. This acrylic gouache, I'm really enjoying it. There's lovely pigment in it. It almost looks like flowers now, doesn't it? Flower petals. It will get kind of that look every once in a while. All right. Mix up some more of that kind of brown gray color again. Ooh, that's a pretty purpley color right now. It's going to gray out when I put the yellow in it. A touch of white. There you go. Let's see. I'm using the corner of the brush and I'm just sort of tapping it around to get kind of a scaly look. But just a just a like an indication, not a, an impression. It's an impression. It's just giving us some spots of color to work around and start developing. That's, that's looking really cool there. I think I'm actually going to take some of that darkish color and I am going to come in here and I'm going to get a bit of an outline on that side and a bit of an outline on this side. Sort of round that up a little bit. And then draw that darker color kind of right along the lid line. And I'm figuring this out, like I said, as I'm going along. And then I'm going to lighten that up a lot. A lot of white. Lighten that up. Because I want to toss a little bit of a highlight and I'm going to take it and use just the corner edge of this brush and bring it right along like a highlight on that on that lid and we're going to take that yellow and a touch of magenta, sort of make it a muddy brown red color. And I want to sort of put double lines on these yellow scales. Might have to darken that up just a little bit or lighten it. I'm not sure yet. Nice thing about gouache, you can keep layering, especially the acrylic gouache, because once it's dry, when you layer over the top of it, it's not lifting up the color underneath. So indeed, it's that's a little bit not dark enough. And I do want to get that bit of a line right here and I'm going to get some paint out here on the e outer edges also. <laughs> oh, this is going to be really cool but it is going to be a little bit long I think because we're already at 22 minutes and I haven't really even got that much going. So I think I'm going to go ahead and go into some fast forward here and get this basically laid out. I'll come back when I do the actual eyeball because I think that's going to be really interesting to see. But, you know, just 
listen to some lovely music and hang out with me for a little while. Okay, so gouache is one of those things. You just keep layering and layering and layering until it gets to the point that you like it. I still have some work to do down here, but I want to get in and get his eye done. And his eye is real interesting because it's really very um, kind of gray for the, for the white of the eye it's actually more gray so I'm just trying to get sort of a green blue green I'm just getting a kind of greenish white gray color here and I'm going to put just a tiny touch of the black in just to darken it up just a bit and that's what's going to go in here outside of the iris 
there's going to be a center and the center here is not a perfect circle but it's not just a slit so and you can just paint right in because you can take the white wash over the top to give you your highlights so I'm just taking my black straight in I want that part to be the deepest darkest black once this is in even if the scale oh wow yeah see even just putting that part in is making a difference now his around the actual pupil I need to wipe off some of that water around the pupil there is a brighter yellow it's not real bright right now because I'm still just getting it laid in but I want to put some bright yellow here just so I remember that that is bright yellow and there's actually actually you know what I'm just gonna take that yellow and just paint in the whole thing around the pupil right up to that brown rim maybe even a little over the brown rim it looks like there we go I want his eye to just be really striking I love trading ATC cards with people getting those little works of art yeah getting those little works of art in the mail from people all around the world is really very exciting <laughs> and I have traded ATC cards off and on for the last several years it's been a couple years since I had done it but I still have all my cards that I've traded with others all right so now there's a little bit of green in here in his eye also so I'm just going to go like this and go dab 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 and just start dabbing some of that blue in to make the green there we go and then and I'm trying to stay away from that uh, pupil so much I may have to put a little bit of white in that I am going to take some of the magenta and just set it off to the side here so I can mix a little bit of the yellow in first I'm going to get my orange there we go actually that's the color I I think I want maybe just the tiniest touch of blue in it just to darken it just a little bit there we go that's perfect I want to put almost like a a bloom of flowers or scales in the eyeball like that ever so slightly just barely touching it like that then I'm going to take this and I'm going to firm up that outer edge of the actual iris with that same color that's really cool now I want to 
put a little bit more yellow. I'm just going to go over to the side. Right there, I just added a little more yellow to that. And I am going to bring that up here across the across the iris a little bit more as that shadow. And then I'm going to pull it down in just a bit. While it's still wet, you can actually do some of this. Some of that blendy, blendy, blendy stuff that you can do while the paint is still wet. Pull a little bit of that down in. And we'll take that brown. Add a little bit of darker color to it. Firm up a little bit of those other shadows. Sort of like glazing. This is just shadowing. There we go. See how that works? Oops, sorry. Well, you'd see how that works if I would stay up on screen. I want to lighten that eyeball up just a little bit. Got a little bit too, too dark green. Want it to be a little bit more creamy. Not white, just creamy. I'm waiting for the eyeball to dry just a little bit more before I do my final little bits on his eyeball. Let's see, I need a little bit more dark. Because his final bits on his eyeball, I want to put some metallic gold. But I think I'm going to just get that shadow in first. There we go. Gouache is, gouache is a lot of fun. It is different to use. It's different than anything I've ever used before. I mean, I've used regular gouache, but this acryl gouache is quite interesting. Just trying to get some of that shadow glazed up, rolling up under his eye there, or un under the eyelid. See, because that area right there should get glazed a little bit also. There we go. When you put the white down, you can actually glaze over it with another color. Okay, so now we're going to go get that white in here along that edge of the eyeball. And then I'm going to get the gold, and then I'm going to say it's done. I could keep messing around with this. For a long, long time. Okay. 
Yep, okay, I can keep messing around here and messing around. so easy to keep messing around. go. I need to just put the brush down. I want some little bit of lighter color here and there. Little glints of highlight. Oh, that's right. I was going to put the gold on. Okay. Got to put gold on. He needs a little bit of gold here and there. He's getting some in his eye. Because, you know, dragons have... There's that sparkle in his eye. I don't know. Do I want to put... He may just have a little hint of some gold. Oh, yeah. Not too much. I don't want to do it on everything, but he needs some on the top and the bottom just to give him a little bit. I love this gold. I need to get a hold of some of the Holbein gold. This would have been really cool to do the Holbein Gold Gesso. I may have to get some of that for myself. A little eyeliner there. Okay, I need to stop or I'm going to end up putting too much on. I say that and then I keep touching. I'm just using up the, the gold paint that's on the brush. There we go. So now, Look at that. Just that extra little bit of shimmer. All right. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please click that like button, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends. Do you want to see more videos where I'm doing fun things like this? Look how 3D that looks now. Whoa. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy about that. Thank you so much. Make sure, check below for more information on the ATC Club, all of the design team members, and if you're on a phone or a tablet, there's a little triangle next to the title. Click that, and it will drop down all of the information. Thank you guys so much, and as always, go out, do something creative, take care of yourself so you can take care of those around you. And I hope to see you back here again really soon. Bye-bye.